secret that we at Kelly Blue Book enjoy Infinity's range of vehicles. And some of our fondest feelings are reserved for the brand's mid-size G lineup, which includes the G37 sedan, coupe, and convertible. For the 2011 model year, Infinity has decided to expand the G family. At the entry-level end of the spectrum, we've got this, the G25 sedan. And on the other end is the IPL G37 coupe. It's the sporty one. With the introduction of the G25, Infiniti is taking a two-engine stance in their G lineup, much like BMW and Lexus do. Um, so this vehicle competes directly with the 328i and with the IS250. By swapping out the G37's 328 horsepower V6 for a smaller 218 horsepower V6, Infiniti has created a cheaper G. In fact, the G25 is the least expensive model Infiniti sells. Dynamically, the G25 is essentially the same as the G37. The biggest difference is going to be an acceleration. The imploring it, it's adequate, but it's not exactly as fun as, say, the 3.7 liter and the G37. With a starting price just under $32,000, the G25 is about $4,100 less than the G37. It's also less expensive than its key competitors. Thankfully, Infiniti opted not to cheapen up the rest of the car. So the G25 offers the same interior, exterior, seven-speed automatic transmission, and most of the creature comforts found on its G37 sibling. And yes, the G25 is also available in rear wheel or all-wheel drive form. In addition to the G25, Infiniti is also launching IPL, which stands for Infiniti Performance Line. IPL is intended to be Infiniti's in-house performance division, producing low-volume, high-performance vehicles. The first offering from IPL is the 2011 IPL G Coupe. Okay, I'll admit, my first hope was that Infiniti had finally come out with a competitor for the BMW M3, the Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG, and the Lexus ISF. They haven't. Maybe they will, but they haven't. What they have come out with, though, is an even sportier version of the already sporty G Coupe that I love, Win. And it's also substantially less expensive than any of those other cars I just mentioned. For a little less than $49,000, you get what amounts to a nearly fully loaded G Coupe enhanced with some IPL specific goodies. The exterior features a rear spoiler, IPL tuned exhaust system, 19 inch wheels, revised fascias and side sills, and IPL badging. Mechanical tweaks include stiffer springs, retuned shocks, and a 348 horsepower V6, amounting to a modest 18 horsepower bump over the standard G37. The IPL isn't a fundamentally different car than the regular G37 coupe, it's just the G37 amplified. It steers a bit quicker, it accelerates a bit better, it sounds a bit sportier, looks a bit sharper. Think of it like a filet mignon. If the G37 is that delicious steak, the IPL is the bacon that surrounds it. If you're looking for an Infiniti to take to the racetrack, this is not it. But if you're looking for something that's faster, that you can enjoy on a day in, day out basis, then I think, yeah, you're gonna really enjoy the G37 IPL Coupe. For more reviews, news, and all things automotive, be sure to visit KBB.com.